folks and welcome back to another episode um, today I'm going to talk to you about tests okay the um, most important tests to have before trying to go into a state of ketosis okay um, as we know ketosis works on the proviso that the less blood glucose we have in our bodies um, the greater the chance our bodies have of making ketone bodies okay ketone bodies are the cells which can synthesize our fat into energy okay now bearing in mind our systems are predominantly used to using uh, carbohydrates and sugars okay this is for the most part what we as a society have eaten a lot of and what um, our bodies are accustomed to so in the beginning obviously our bodies are going to try and look for any form of sugar or glucose okay because that is the uh, metabolic activity that it's most used to most accustomed to okay so what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to change that now instead of going through the glycolysis process which we know is inflammatory and, and uh, by its very nature produces a lot of free radicals and it's the free radicals which are like the rust in our bodies which then create cancer and all the degenerative diseases okay so that's what we're trying to get rid of but in order to do that we have to empty our bodies of carbohydrates and then we need to produce ketone bodies okay so two very very important checks to be done and these will probably in the beginning have to be ongoing checks which should be probably done about three times a day in the first couple of weeks till you enter into the ketosis uh, range or, or stage okay so number one we want to test for glucose and number two we want to test for ketone bodies are our bodies producing ketones okay so number one and again you know i could go into all the different measures that they are for example you can test uh, ketones through breath through urine and obviously through a blood sample okay um, it's not my aim here to obviously look for what I think can work, won't work, all of that sort of thing. You know, I'm one of those people who believes don't be penny wise to be pound foolish, okay? If you're serious about this and you have a, um, some kind of a disorder, be it cancer, Parkinson's, any one of those degenerative diseases, don't mess around, okay? There's only two devices that I recommend at this stage that you buy. Um, and again, depending where you're positioned in the world, you're going to find it easier or more difficult to find, okay? I'm currently based in Europe, and um, the device that I've got to look for is the um, Abbott freestyle optimum neo device okay this device does both a glucose test on a glucose test strip and it does a ketone test on a ketone test strip okay the other device which i'm not finding available to me here in um, europe is another another device called a Bayer contour device okay again so depending where you are you're going to have to google amazon is probably the best place at this point in time because although glucometers in terms of just testing for sugar um, are pretty available all over the place you're going to find it more difficult to find a glucometer doing glucose and ketones okay so those are very important right so <clears throat> you've managed to identify which device you're going to use 
what are the ranges that we're looking for okay really what you're wanting is when you test for glucose depending on uh, what setting it's on okay if it's going to be measuring in deciliters you're looking for a reading below 80 80 okay if that's going to be testing in mini molar per liter okay you're looking at wanting 4.4 or less okay this is on the glucose side okay now bearing in mind what we want is as the glucose level goes down so when we do our test on our ketones the ketone index should rise okay so that's glucose glucose we want below 80 okay if you're measuring in deciliters and if you're measuring in minimolar we want below 4.4 right moving across to ketones now when we measure for ketones um, what we're looking for is we're looking for a range the sweet spot is about 2.0 okay typically ketones start being formed at 0 0.5 so if you get a 0 0.5 reading, know that your body is starting to produce ketones. However, this doesn't mean that you're going to be in a ketogenic state as of yet. Okay. Really the sweet spot we're looking for is we're looking for a reading below 80. So probably in the vicinity of something like 76. Okay. And we're wanting a keto or a ketone reading of 2.0. That's a sweet spot. If you have those readings, rest assured you are well into uh, ketosis. Okay, guys, so that's really, really important. Um, if you're serious about this, don't guess this. Okay, in the beginning, your sugar levels are going to fluctuate. They're going to look for every single possible angle within which to convert, be it protein, anything that they can into carbohydrate, okay, so that it can synthesize through glycolysis. And again, why? Because our bodies are accustomed to this, okay? This is pretty much how 99% of the population has been synthesizing their energy. So be patient with this, give it a bit of time. But again, if you are disciplined, okay, you're going to get into this range. And uh, again, depending on your fitness, depending on um, how you've been eating in the past, this can vary. This can vary from a couple of days to possibly a couple of months for some people, okay. Again, it's about discipline. It's about what you put into your body realize that we want to get rid of sugar okay we need to get rid of sugar because in the presence of sugar insulin kicks in insulin says to our bodies we under attack guys we need to store we need to conserve energy and we need to save the body okay when that message is being sent through the body through insulin okay and in certain instances also leptin the body will not burn fat guys <laughs> and this is where people get it so wrong you know they're eating high carbohydrate diets they're killing themselves in the gym and they're just not losing weight why because you've got insulin in the bloodstream insulin and leptin are saying to the, the body no we are conserving energy. We're looking after the body here. It's not time to be burning fat. Okay. So this is something that a lot of people um, don't understand in the beginning. So what we need to do is we need to get our insulin levels right, right down. Okay. So guys, I'm, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I say to you, uh, look for the Abbott Freestyle Optimum Neo.
product. Um, again, depending where you are, it seems to be a bit cheaper in the States. Um, it's a bit more expensive in Europe. From pricing that I'm seeing, although I haven't identified the exact unit that I'm looking for, it looks like it's in the range of 50 plus euros. Okay. So guys, those are two of the tests that um, you need to be on top of in the beginning. And in the next video, I'll be talking to you about two other tests, which are also important um, because these are, again, tests that you need to identify, which could be withholding you from going into a state of ketosis. Great guys, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.